All right, guys, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining me today. Man, oh man, are we going to try something new? I'm going to call this the Mount Rushmore of games. This is, could be a reoccurring theme, uh, and this could be about games. It could be about movies. It could be about any topic. Just the idea is that we're picking the top four things according to me. <laughs> so I've done top tens. I've done, I've done top fives. I've done top elevens. We're breaking it down to top four. Top four, you got to get to the cream of the crop, the Mount Rushmore and today's topic is something that I just found out about the other day, and I, I, I can't believe how excited I am about this. It's called the TMNT Cowabunga Collection. Have you heard about this thing? Have you heard about it? Dear Lord, look at it. It's a Cowabunga Collection. It's coming out for all your favorite stuff. It has uh, the arcade. It has 12 games. The arcade game and Turtles in Time in the arcade and the original NES game. And then the, uh, the, the three games on the NES, four games on the NES, the Tournament Fighters. And then the Super Nintendo Turtles in Time and Tournament Fighters and Hyperstone Heist for the Genesis and the, 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 you know, all the Tournament Fighter games and all that nonsense. Uh, and then we have the three Game Boy games, which were the Fall of the Foot Clan, Back, to the, Back from the Sewers, and Radical Rescue. So today I'm going to give you the four games that I am most looking forward to on this Radical uh, collection, the Cowabunga collection. Man, look at this trailer. Does this not just get you hyped for shit? My God, this looks awesome. Um, very simply, it has all the games. And I like all the games. So, so narrowing it down from 12 to 4 is actually pretty damn difficult. And uh, there's actually, you know, as I was sitting down thinking about this, man, uh, ranking it, some of you will be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And some of you will be like, well, that doesn't make any sense. But I figured I'd share them with you guys. If you guys do enjoy this, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thumbs up are great. Thumbs up are really good. So subscribing is if you like this type of content. Listen, this could turn into a regular thing. Right. Once again, not sticking with just games, could be movies, could be music, could be whatever I want to talk about sports. I don't know, but uh, just just hit the thumbs up if you like it. OK, so it's got rewind and all this stuff. Anyways, I'm really excited about this. Apparently you can pre-order it now. OK, let's get to my first game that I'm really, really excited about. And uh, mainly because I've never played it before. It's TMNT 3 Radical Rescue for the Game Boy. I've never played this before, I and that's why I'm most excited about it. Uh, a Game Boy game, very black and white, but it always looked, I, I thought I thought the second one uh, on the Game Boy didn't look very cool, but this one kind of looks pretty awesome. I have no idea if this game is good, but you can like do all the flippy flips and stuff uh, with, with your with your nunchucks. I'm guessing that's, I'm guessing that's Michelangelo. <laughs> but, but you know, this is just, Fun going back and forth hack and slash action, which is everything that I want in an Ninja Turtles game. I don't want anything other than that. Just popping in, going from left to right, jumping on trees, killing foot soldiers. And hey, you know what? Why don't you throw in a little bit of floaty game while you're at it? You know, which is pretty awesome. This is the entire game. And of course, you know, you got your spooky underground areas. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it looks like he turned into a shell. Whoa, that's awesome. See, more stuff to look at. Looks like there's some collectibles on the bottom. Which is, you know, once again, I, I'm just excited to check this thing out. So, number four on my route, mush, my my route much more, my mush rush more, my Mount Rushmore, is TMNT three Radical Rescue on the Game Boy. I don't even. Let's just take a quick peek up for this. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, look! <laughs> look at how they all look the exact same. That is great. Oh man, love it. Look at them all. There they are. You can tell they're all the exact same except for their weaponry there. Leo. Oh, no. Sorry. Leo. Why is Michelangelo first? Mike, Leo, Raph, and Don. See, I'm good. I got them all. All right. Let's go to the next one on the list. Uh, number three on my Mount Rushmore of gaming fun for TMNT uh, Calabunga Collection. I will be buying it on the PlayStation 4. I just want to point that out. Is TMNT Turtles 4... Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. You're probably saying, hey, Craig, why would you want to play the Super Nintendo game over the arcade game? I got to be honest. I think the Super, Super Nintendo game is better than the arcade game. I think it controls better. It's more intuitive. I like the music. It's what I grew up on. It's nostalgia for me. And I, and I don't give a damn what you think. That's why. Uh, yes, you can only play as two players in this game. But, you know, and, I, and this will have online play, so apparently you'll be able to play uh, four players with buddies and stuff. But I don't have three other buddies to play with that want to play Ninja Turtles with me. So, unless you do. I mean, you want to play Ninja Turtles with me? Let, let me know in the comments if you want to play Ninja Turtles with me <laughs> when, I, when this game. Because I don't even know when this game comes out, but I'm excited for it. But I always felt like when, whenever I played the arcade game of Turtles in Time, I just... And it's going to sound really crazy, but I just didn't think it was as good 
as the Super Nintendo version. I, I felt like there was a little bit of a stiffness attached to this. And you know, speaking of, speaking of this, as I'm looking at this gameplay, I thought, how come they didn't include the remake that Ubisoft did several years ago that was horrendous and pretty much ruined this entire game? They remade one of the best beat-em-ups of all time. You know what I'm talking about, the Ubisoft one where you could run in all like eight directions and stuff and it was messy. But doing what you just saw there, being able to throw throw your characters and, and doing able all this stuff, I feel like you can do it way better and way more intuitively on the Super Nintendo uh, than you can in the arcade. And, and maybe it's maybe it's my sheer lack of expertise on the on the on it, and maybe I just suck at the arcade game. But you know, I, I will sacrifice a little bit of audio, a little bit of game, a little bit of uh, uh, graphics for better gameplay. And I personally feel that's what it comes down to. So. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I own this Super Nintendo version. I, I don't, I'm gonna play it again. I don't care, but now I guess I'll be able to play it online. I mean, I am looking forward to the, t the uh, Turtles in Time arcade game, but of the two, I think I'd rather have the Super Nintendo version. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is, is that just an asinine statement? Is that crazy? Because I feel like, I feel like, uh, that is, that, that's kind of a crazy statement considering the, you know, the upgrades that you saw in the arcade compared to the, uh, home consoles back in the day. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Uh, in the comments below. And we're gonna fight Baxter Stockman real quick. Alley Cat Blues. Anybody? Yeah, hold on. We just gotta hear it. Here we go. Alley Cat Blues. Yeah! All right. Let's go to number two. The game is the game I'm second most looking forward to playing on the uh, Calabunga collection for the Ninja Turtle stuff. This I just realized these are kind of like live raw impromptu video game vaults <laughs> back in the day uh number two is tim and t three we're going for our second triple oh baby the manhattan project for the nintendo entertainment system i always love this game i think this game is better than the arc than the uh the arcade game on the nes um it's a little more variety the uh it, it allows the uh the uh, characters to kind of separate themselves a little more. They all have their different different attacks, uh, delineate them a little bit more. Even though for some reason Leo is uh, orange down here, I don't know what's going on with that graphical graphical uh, inabilities. But I thought this game was super fun when I played it. I think I played through it once or twice as a kid. But I always really enjoyed this one. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down below because I I got to be honest, this is this game is just fun. And the fact that I haven't played this game in twenty something years really gets me excited for playing it again, especially having 12 games at your disposal. And then, like, I realize some people are like, oh, man, hey, like, how, how can you not have tournament fighters on your list? Well, I haven't got to number one yet, so suck it up and deal with it. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but I, uh, I don't know. I, I really enjoy this. You will not see the NES version. I'll tell you this. You will not see the NES version of Turtles in Time on my list. Or even in like the top eight. I, that, that's probably the last last game on my list that I actually am intrigued to play. Even though it's probably the rarest of all the games, I think. Uh, a fighting game on the NES. But fighting games in the, in the Nintendo Entertainment System. Like, they peaked with Double Dragon Mode B. I'm just going to say that right now. Like, Double, Drag Double Dragon Mode B is the best is the best NES fighting game. <laughs> but... They were always clunky, and they didn't work like this. their Super Nintendo or Genesis brethren. But you know what did? That's right. Beat-em-ups. Beat-em-ups were amazing on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Super Nintendo for that matter. But I, I, I would love to see just an entire remake of this game. I mean, this game is great. Going in Key West, watch this. One of these things is going to fall down. Where are you at? Where are you at? I know you're hiding around here, Foot Clan. Where are you? I see you. You're, you're, you're going to be behind one of these beaches signs. I also love that the... The other three turtles you're not playing as are just down in the bottom right corner of the screen going, Hey, it's us, the Ninja Turtles. It uh, just says turtles. Ah, there you go. They're all there. They're, they're hiding behind the signs. So great. Let's skip ahead just real quick. Of course, you're going to fight in the in the Technodrome or in some sort of... Oh, look at that. Yeah. Spin a Rooney right there from Leo. And get us the ads. All right. Let's move on. The fit, for, fit of tomorrow. The fit of today right now. The number one game on my Mount Rushmore of games in the TMNT Cowabunga collection. Number one, it's an oldie buddy goodie. And I gotta be honest, the reason why I'm excited for this one is, this, is the same reason why I'm excited for number three. It's strictly nostalgia and that I haven't played it in a long time. It's the OG, the old school TMNT Turtles arcade game. This, is, uh, this to me is the pinnacle 
of arcade fun. Um, I know that sounds crazy. I, I love fighting games and such, but I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. When I was a kid, my, we, we entered on a lot of, lot of uh, coloring contests, right? Like Crayola coloring contests. They were a thing back in the day. My dad was really good at, at helping us and pointing us in the right direction. So we actually won a lot of contests. So my brother, Brad, who was probably like six or seven at the time, won a contest to win a $25,000 scholarship to go to college. Okay, so naturally the Crayola lady comes down and is like, hey, I want to see you color. And he's six, six or seven. So she comes down. We have this big night out. We go down to the Dallas West End, which is this downtown area. There was a big arcade, all these games all over the place. They give me a bunch of quarters and I go play this game right here. TMNT in the arcade game. It was just Ninja Turtles because there was no arcade game on the, on the Nintendo at the time. I played this game and I remember just getting rolled and I thought this was so cool playing this game. Long story short, my brother was six or seven, didn't want to color, didn't want to draw, so he lost his scholarship. What a dummy. Either way, uh, I, I will always put this game in connection to coloring contest. Isn't that weird how that all works out? I would love, oh, look at this. They're just gonna go roll on rock steady right here. Man. Get him, go, go get him, go get him, all four of them, get him. Oh my God. <laughs> I also loved that uh, when, when the, you play as four players or more than just one player, Every player that you increase increases the, the, the uh, number of characters on screen and also the health points uh, for all the bad guys. You notice, like, at this point, Rocksteady would be dead if you were just fighting him by yourself. But no, no, no. Um, we'll, we'll, go, we'll watch to the end of this level because I always love Shredder jumping out. Uh, but there you go. There's my four games. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Oh, let's see. Here comes Shredder. Here he comes. Rah! Rah! I, was, oh, I love this right here. The fact that you could see all of the turtles in one screen, that, listen, that, that's amazing to me. Oh man, that's awesome. So there you go. Uh, there's my four games that I'm excited for coming out from the Cowabunga collection. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. It doesn't have to be video games, but there's obviously, I can talk about classic games all day long. Uh, I can talk about movies, I can talk about TV shows, I can talk about whatever I want because it's my stuff. Um, so if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Let people know that I that that I you know that I'm doing this. I guess I don't know. And we'll see if I do it again. Uh, if it goes well, maybe I'll do another one. And let me know what you'd like to see me do these on down in the comments because I read every comment. I always do. I always do. Uh, guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, once again, fill me in on what you'd like to see. Thumbs up the whole thing. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another episode of whatever the hell this is going to be called, the Mount Rushmore of of me. <laughs> have a good day.